said to meet him at the rocks at the salmon hole. These are all rocks and not one of them looks like a salmon. Maybe the knapsack's wrong. God damn you, Bruce. There we go. You've just finished watching another one of our little adventures at Manson Marine Podcast. Where we were this time was Fishery Bay in South Australia. It's one of my more favorite places to go there's some beautiful absolutely spectacular views at fishery bay i highly recommend it to anyone of I it mean, even if you live in south australia or you live in port lincoln it's one place you have to go and if you're traveling here to south australia and particularly port lincoln you must must see Fishery Bay, it will absolutely blow your mind. It's beautiful. The top of the cliffs, you can see, wow. The views from the top of those cliffs is absolutely incredible. Great tourist area. Now, what we were actually doing at Fishery Bay is we were doing what we call rock walking around tidal pools. Now, the particular area that we were in down there that whole area down there is an intertidal zone. Now, what an intertidal zone actually is, is where the tide is in and out. So the tide comes in and then it goes out, so it's in out. So as you can probably imagine, the marine life that lives here and the vegetation, the plant life, around these intertidal areas, not just here, but anywhere, any intertidal area has to be quite hearty. So they have to be able to survive in high tide and a low tide. So you can imagine how hearty they are. In these areas, you see a lot of crabs, you see a lot of uh, bivalves, you see a lot of all sorts of things, clams, anything like that, which is a bivalve. So what we actually saw there on that particular day, now during our rock walking, we were in one, what we call a tidal pool. Now, in this little tidal pool, we had what you could see was a spectacular glass shrimp or ghost shrimp. Now, these ones are the Australian ghost shrimp, otherwise known as a marine cleaner. Now, the reason they're called a marine cleaner is they that's exactly what they do. They clean. They feed on algae on the rocks. And you might have noticed when V put his hand in the water, all the little... Um, ghost shrimp came over and they were it's like looked like they were biting him but they weren't actually biting him they were they were cleaning him they were they were finding things to feed on um, and they, they, were, they were they were trying to clean him 
it was clean his hand because they thought there might have been some food there. Um, and it doesn't, when they do this, it doesn't actually hurt. It, it tickles. It's like a tickling sensation. It's quite weird. It feels okay. But, but yeah, um, it's, they don't actually hurt you. They can't hurt you. They're, they're a beautiful little thing. Now, as you could see with them, you could see straight through them, which is why they're called a glass shrimp, because you can see through them. Now, these little guys do um, habitat these areas because they are small and they are um, algae eaters, and there's a lot of algae around these areas. So that's why you do see uh, these glass shrimp around these particular areas. Now, the little fish that we saw pop his little head out of nowhere was a little blenny. Now, he's a common blenny. Um, let's call him Benny the Blenny. Um, now, little Benny the Blenny, he is um, he's one of those species of fish that sits on their pectoral fins and, and will sit there on their pectoral fins and like they're really proud sitting on their pectoral fins. And you might have noticed with him as well that he had um, tentacles above his eyes. Um, that's just the species. Now, he's, he's a common, so he had the stripes. I don't know whether you saw the stripes on the side of him. Um, now, these are quite common in South Australia. Um, again, they can't hurt you. They're a funny little thing. They do move very quickly, um, so they do hop around. So um, they jump more than, rather, rather than hop, they jump. So they're also known as jumpers. Um, so these little guys are very, very cute. As you can see, he was in and out real swiftly. Um, and he was very inquisitive as well as to our GoPro. He really wanted to um, to have a look at that, but he was um, he was more interested in, in trying to work out what was going on, I reckon. Um, now at the end there, in the final video, yes, that was a great white shark. Now the great white sharks um, in South Australia are generally around Neptune Islands where there is a colony of Australian fur seals, but they do pass through Fishery Bay on quite a, a common occurrence. Um, they have, great white sharks have been seen there uh, quite a lot. Um, we also see um, bronze whalers, and we also see schools of school sharks, which is why they're called a school shark. Now they're very closely related to the gummy shark as well. Now the school sharks and the gummy sharks, now they're very harmless. They can't hurt you. Um, however, your bronze whalers and your great whites, you do have to be aware of them. Um, if you are swimming in these areas, it's perfectly safe to swim in this area. Just watch your times that you are in this area though, because the sharks do tend to turn up. Now that shark was there late afternoon. So they do tend, sharks, as I've said before, do tend to feed closer to shore later in the afternoon. So if you are at Fishery Bay later in the afternoon, please be aware that there will be, there could be sharks around. Watch your behavior. Any sort of splashing and thrashing in the water will attract them. Um, if you are on a surfboard, be more aware um, because to a shark from the, when looking at the surface, the shark will think that you are a seal. So be very, very careful when you are in these areas. Um, where sharks are known to be seen. Um, apart from that, Fishery Bay, I highly recommend it. Give it a visit. Um, swim, you can fish. Fishing is great around that area. Um, so, but please be aware if you are swimming, again, late in the afternoon and early mornings, because as I've said in a previous video, great whites, feed primarily the first two hours of daylight is when they primarily feed. So please be aware of that. You guys have a great week. We are going back to Fishery Bay this week. We are going to uh, make an attempt to find some sharks and get in and have a swim with them. So we want to get in with the sharks if we do see them. Um, and we're hoping to bring some footage of that. So that is our goal, is to find some sharks. If they do come along and get in the water with them and swim and get some footage of these sharks in the water. Um, again, 
we can't guarantee that we're going to get that. We are going back to Fishery Bay. We are going to get footage of, of marine life again. Um, and like I said, we are hoping to get some great, great whites or even some bronze whalers that we can get in the water and get some footage of for you. Um, that hopefully will happen. But marine life, it's, it's not like a light switch. They're a wild animal. We can't guarantee that they're going to be there. So let's hope that they do come along again so we are able to give you some of this footage. You guys have a great night and enjoy the rest of your week and we will see you again soon at Manta Marine Podcast TV. See you guys.